Ron Goodall from FightHike.com. I'm here with the man himself, Steven Espinoza. How's it going? Good. How are you? Doing great. You know, um, I wouldn't be a big fight without seeing your face. It's pretty <laughs> synonymous this year. And appreciate all the great work that you've been doing. Um, just from first and foremost, I know you spoke a lot on making this fight at the, I mean, at the press conference. But just in short terms, how big is this fight for the fight fans? The two four belt undisputed fighters coming together at this stage? Well, it, it really is as big as it gets. I mean, you know, Canelo has been um, the biggest star in the sport for, for some time. I think this is um, the most exciting and perhaps most challenging fight that he's had, you know, in a, in a while. Certainly, I think it's up there with the people fight in terms of the challenge just because of the athleticism and, and the skill set that Jamal has. So look, it's a it's a great mix of two exciting fighters. It's a, it's a matchup where you know, you know it's not going to be a boring fight because neither one of these guys has ever had a boring fight. You know, seeing that there's always been people talking about how Canelo was fighting on the zone and now coming in Showtime, you know, there's a lot of opinions, but you know, it seems that from the Caleb Plant fight to the Charlo fight, it seems to be like a big uptick, at least here in America, and, you know, generating the buzz. Do you mm -hmm. feel a lot has to do with the Showtime platform and, or more of the matchmaking or both? I mean, sure, look, I'm, I'm not objective about the whole thing, but I think the, the reality is, um, you know, we're the leader, you know, in this sport for a reason. I mean, we've learned a lot over 37 years. We've done more pay-per-view and more successful pay-per-views. I mean, literally, if you look at the record books on the biggest pay-per-views, um, the majority of them are, are Showtime. So the reality is, I, I think that was a factor for Canelo. Um, on the pay-per-view platform, you're looking for whoever can do the best job in elevating it and making it as big as possible. And you look at the experience, you look at the numbers, you look at the facts, and that's Showtime pay-per-view. You know, seeing the fact that you've had a great year, is this just part of like being the top guy, the top successful? Because I'm sure I'll rip the bandage, all the Twitter, all, you know, Twitter's not true, but you know, all these rumors and all these circulating things, obviously yeah. coming to the source and stuff. Where, where's all that stuff coming from? Is that? Uh, you know, look, it, it's, uh, you know, it's funny. It, it literally has been something that people have been swearing is, is gonna happen since 2018. Um, you know, and there are a couple people in particular who are, I'm sure we all know, have led the charge. No, and um, you know, all we've done in response, and we're not really engaging in it, is go out and continue to do the best schedule year after year, continue to focus on you know, what we do, which is make big fights and take those big fights and make them huge events. So that's sort of what we'll respond currently, the same way we've been responding over the last five years. So my last question, just Dana White went, um, he did his Tuesday um, contender, um, on the cusp of the rumor saying that Showtime is going out of business, um, well, at least out of boxing, going up. Um, he made some comments, um, some that sounded endearing, but what is? what do you think the hostility with you and Dana is? Um, just overall, is it from the Mayweather, Canel I mean, uh, Mayweather Connor, or is it just you guys are somewhat rivals of sports? And, uh, I mean, I, I don't know that we're rivals. I don't give a lot of thought to him. Like, I mean, look, I. I First, like I'm shocked, um, I'm shocked by the comments. I mean, we've always known Dana to be, you know, so articulate and intelligent and witty with his comments. Like, it's so strange of him to lash out in anger. I mean, who would have guessed that he would lash out in anger at somebody? You know, we've never seen that from him before, right? Um, where it comes from? Look, I've got, I've got my own, I've got my own ideas. I mean, look, I think some of it is, you know, I didn't go along with some of the misrepresentations that he wanted to say on the events that we did together. Um, you know, but for the most part, you know, I've got some ideas, you know, and I, I think it's, it's kind of obvious. I'm not, I don't have to articulate it, but, uh, I think people can put two and two together and see why he, uh, he tends to single me out among uh, most other people for that kind of, you know, idiotic abuse. I mean, good. I, that's, that's the only way that he can engage in some sort of dialogue, then more power to him. You know, I hope he can someday um, elevate his vocabulary and learn how to speak more eloquently and articulate. I think it's probably something that um, might be necessary and helpful if you're going to be a leader of a publicly traded company. Well, um, and on a good note, the, the Canelo Charlo on the back, looking forward to the fight, looking forward to all the fights that haven't been announced but soon to be announced, and then looking forward to that year, 2024, that everyone's you know, looking to see if Showtime will still be in the box. So, thank you so much, Steven. Absolutely. Awesome. Appreciate right. the time. All right, no, no.